거 많이 끊고 즐거웠어요. In January 2000, Burton Snowboards Japan organized a week-long avalanche awareness and backcountry safety course. The site chosen for the camp was Aomori Prefecture's Hakoda Mountain. The guest instructors were John Buffery from the Canadian Avalanche Association and legendary snowboarder and Burton team rider Craig Kelly. I arrived with a Sony video camera in hand and a box of mini DV tapes. Over five days, I recorded over eight hours of footage including both the lectures and the on-mountain training exercises. Almost exactly two years later, Craig would die in an avalanche accident, along with six other people near Revelstoke in Canada. This footage has been unused and unseen for over 23 years. The film is a look at Craig Kelly and those around him as he was making the transition from competitive snowboarder to a professional backcountry mountain guide. He was 34 years old at the time of this camp. to Japan, whether it's for the delicious food, which has been extra good here, or for the wonderful people I get to meet, all the Burton staff, and the campers, and the local people on the mountains, not to mention the Japanese cultural event, the afternoon onsen, and the wonderful Japanese powder I get every time here. Through the things I do as a professional snowboarder, especially the films, and the videos, and the photo shoots, there's a lot of exposure for the backcountry, a lot of promotion in the backcountry in the media as a result of what I do. Obviously that's done a lot to promote the sport of snowboarding, it's done a lot to promote my sponsors like Burton and Red and Oakley, everybody does really well from that exposure, but also gets more kids and more snowboarders excited to go snowboarding in the backcountry. And so this is my chance to give back a little bit of awareness to the people that are learning so much about the excitement of the backcountry. This is my chance to let them know that you have to know what you're doing and if you know what you're doing you can have a good, safe, fun time out there. It's also my pleasure to acknowledge Masanora Takeichi here to my right. He's been a friend of mine snowboarding with me in the backcountry for over 10 years now I think. And um, it's a pleasure to have him helping to teach avalanche awareness in Japan. Uh, the main thing we're going to do here is, is learn safety, but we're also going to focus on fun. And uh, that's pretty much the way the backcountry works. Go out there and establish what's going to be safe and how far you can go within your limits of safety and then go out there and have as much fun as you can with it. So, here we go. Not so much the front, but on the side. So I usually would take my probe and mark it. Thank you. 
Interesting. New grains, size one rind. They're not just back, they're needles. You want to look at these? They're kind of cool. And needle? Yeah, needles. See the needles? In yeah. Needles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a new grain. It's just a grain that's falling out of the sky. Grain? What is needles? It's like a hole. It's like a hole. It's like a hole. You can if you want. Yeah. Check this out. There's a nice grain there. It's a little out of focus. It's high. But it's a... It's a perfect. The rhymy thing? Yeah. Okay, so then now we're at 17 to 30. Thank you. Thank you. This is good. I'm not sure. This is good. 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 And, that, and tracks tend to stabilize the snow a great deal. Right. Your compaction, they call it. Right. And that's like a reason a lot of ski areas, like Baker or whatever, everything's all, pretty much always safe. Right. You just get skied up every day. But you go in the backcountry where there might be three layers of snow before a new track gets put right. in it. And those layers have a chance to set up on their own. Yeah. And when, the, when people actually ski it, it, it mixes the layers with the other. It's like the other day, we call it like, you know, it's just one. It's actually yesterday. Yep. When we, when we did the profile. Yeah. If everybody had skied that the day yeah. before, we probably would have been able to do it. Right. Because it was mostly the wind from yes, the day before that yeah. added new snow to it. So if people were skiing it while that wind was blowing, mm -hmm. it probably would have been okay. Right. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Apple 2.0. Yeah. All right. That sounds. I'm gonna trim a little bit off here. <laughs> Breakfast has moderate. No, too easy. So what's the measurement of the easy one? Let me know when it's here. Okay. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Oh. Two. Two elbow. Ah, same layer, eh? Same layer, right? This first test I show you only works best in soft, soft snow, mm -hmm. which we have. So you go to where you suspect that layer is, which is here, and maybe the next one. So let's go a little lower. Okay. And you just cut straight across. And I've cut the back, of course. Okay. And then I tilt it to about 20 degrees. Mm -hmm. like so. And then the same series of taps on the bottom. With my finger. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. Nope. Elbow. Okay. Knuckle. One. Oh, here you go. How did you get 24 of that? One knuckle. Oh, there's two layers too. There's the grapple. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Okay, one. Whoa. Okay, cool. One to one point five. 
Loving it. Loving life, Mama. Mama son. Oh shit, there's some great faces in there. Oh, they're alright. Oh, that's cool. What's the short name? Kazuya Ashu. Ushi. Ushi, okay. Okay, you can leave it on. Um, you can keep it on you. And yes, turn it on now. Make sure the batteries, good batteries. Mine's getting a little bit low. And your battery's good? 88, that's good. Is it on? And how do you turn this to receive? I've never... Okay, and now turn it back. So I'll just put mine in the snow right here. And you can turn to receive. Oh, did you program this? And so start walking quickly to find the signal at first. Ah, very good. Good job. Very, very good. Kaichi or Koichi? Kaichi. Kaichi. Very good. Good job. Thank you. All right. Um, now we, um, we're going to go to the office of Soma. Hello, everyone. We're going to go to my doctor now. Now? Yeah. So we're going to meet in Soma's office. Okay. Yeah. All the gear, food, okay. shovels, some Yeah. Why is that the Konoma might give us? We are not there. Mine, okay. こう。本物を見ましたよ。本物。すごい。最高。ああ、嬉しいわ。はい、あれこれは誰か見たな。これ2003年の。何これ見た。2003年。2003年プロトだ。2003年プロト。あ、イエーイ。ナイス。やだ。一人の少女がドナーの適応にできるチャンスをいただきました。マヤ。I'm <laughs> Yes. 
すごいけど。I like this picture. It's good for.150m ぐらい、多分見えなここから見えないぐらいな、ちょっと開いてて、上に少し岩があったような、OK、just probably down by the first、uh, pole or the first、yeah. support.
Is there one more bowl on the other side of this roll? Okay, let's go look at that one. I think that's the one. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I have. Take the shovel and just fuck everything up all around like for a hundred feet. We have to stomp everything everywhere so they don't see it easy. And um, if you fill it full of snow, it's easier to find with a probe. So I'll have you do that and um, and I'll hide three transceivers and this pack with a probe in no it. No transceiver. No transceiver, probe only. And then this pack will have transceiver so it's easier to find, but deeper, two meters. And then... Uh, Three transceivers and gloves separately. Yeah. And, um, so, you keep paying it to me, it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit how to turn that on. If you could turn that on, and Masa, if you could hide that one in the open slope at the bottom past the tree, okay. out in the middle somewhere, and uh, just 30 centimeters under, and then stomp the snow everywhere. Okay, Neil, I'm gonna have you. Okay. There you go, Neil. Okay, where's this go? Um, That um, that big snowy mound right there. Yeah. Just anywhere around that. Just like it. below it or somewhere next yeah. to it or something. Yeah. Any, anywhere within uh, ten feet of it, say. Okay. How deep? Um, just thirty centimeters. Okay. Just thirty? Yeah, for because the, these are difficult to find if you hide uh, them uh, deep. Small. Yeah. Small. Okay. Because you can't probe for them. But that one's a meter and a half or two meters. I'll go down. But it's deep, it'd be hard to find for him. Yep, that's why he's kind of so far away. <laughs> and he's walking on it, maybe a little faster. But... <laughs> Okay, this is all. Let's take 
てますよね。ちなみに報告しましたか？いやまだです。What we've done here with this avalanche class is raise some money. Buff and I both get paid to do the class, and we're going to donate two thousand dollars of our income for the class to Japanese avalanche awareness and safety. Half of that money we're going to distribute immediately. The thousand dollars we're going to donate to Hakoda Mountain Range through Soma-san towards. Avalanche rescue gear. Nice. Tomorrow morning, breakfast as usual. But then Buff is going to teach a little bit of information about avalanche rescue at eight o'clock in the morning. After that. We're gonna go on the tram, first tram at nine o'clock.